Hey guys, Artosis here bringing you week number six of the KCM Race Survival Series. This week we have for Team Terran, Speed, Barracks, and Scan. For Team Protoss, YSC, Movie, and Tyson, and for Zerg, Beast, Shine, and Hyuk. Uh, I'm going to be honest, I like the Terran lineup this week. I think overall it's just a little bit stronger than the other ones. Uh, you know, I guess overall you look at this, maybe the biggest name here is Shine for Zerg. But it feels like Shine hasn't been in his top form uh, lately, whereas Speed Barracks and Scan are all getting right near the top of Terran at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe maybe Team Terran is going to be able to take it down again this week after uh, narrowly defeating Soma from Team Zerg the week before. Now, uh, this game, we have on Revolver, Movie as our Protoss in the top right. And in the bottom right here, uh, we have none other than Hyuk. So... Yeah, PVZ to start it off. Movie not really known for having strong uh, PVZ. He's had some off and on ones for sure. Movie plays a lot in the Race Survival Series. So uh, we've definitely got to see him a fair amount. I'd honestly like to see a little bit more of his uh, Protoss vs. Terran in here. I hope he is able to take down Hyuk and we can maybe see him against one of those three TVP monsters. I think he's a little bit better suited for that. But either way, we have Hatchery first coming down. Forge fast expansion here with the second probe leaving the base for movie. So we might actually end up seeing a cannon rush. That is a real possibility. Uh, I'm trying to think if I've seen cannon rushes on this map. I don't believe I, that I actually have. So I'm not sure exactly where the positioning is. It's probably back here. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see. So the probe coming in. Nah, this probe is just heading home immediately, so I don't think he's actually going to do... Oh, no, maybe he will. Maybe he will. Oh. See, when you go behind the the minerals like that, it kind of signals that you're doing it, whether you're doing it or not. Sometimes you want to get Zerg scared with that, make him maybe pull another drone down. Uh, but he decides not to and just goes for the Nexus after the Forge, which is pretty clean if you attempt the Cannon Rush and fail. Obviously, you're in a lot of trouble. Uh, so... He should be able to be completely fine, right? Like, even scouting two probes is not really an issue. Now, Revolver, uh, as you see, it has kind of this funky choke that has a double choke. But it's not that big a deal for Protoss. Uh, you have, right, like the two eggs help. This is a ling tight wall right there. Uh, and then you do have this ramp, which is a little bit annoying. So definitely you need your photon cannon. And generally you just see some zealots sit over on that ramp. It's kind, you kind of treat it like uh, the holes that are in a regular wall, if that makes a little bit more sense, right? Like, if you think of walls that you normally see, like, let's say that we're on, like, Eclipse or something, the pylon would be here, this egg would be on top of the gate, and the, this would be set like this, right? And you'd have a hole here that you need blocked. You'd have, like, a hole up here or something. And, you know, it, generally you do have, like, at least a couple holes that you need to block anyways, so... Yeah, no biggie. It's it's not that bad. It looked bad at first. I was like, oh, damn, how's Protoss going to wall that? But they figured it out quite quickly. Now, layer on the way in the natural here for Hyuk. Third base coming up as well. A couple lings did run by. So that is that is really annoying. Uh, and it matters. It's really up to the Zerg user how annoying this is going to be. In the old days, if Jadon got these two lings in your base, you were dead. These lings would be alive. You'd have to go like... You'd have to make four or five Dragoons and hunt them down in your base, like flank them and stuff to be able to get rid of them. It was actually insane. Uh, we'll see what Hyuk is able to do. You see Hyuk right now at 530 APM. So I have a feeling these things are actually going to be very annoying. Oh my god. He's put a lot of damage on a probe. Some of them getting very low. This one in particular down to two health. I mean, if you're losing probes to this, you're already losing mining time as you drill the probes around to keep them alive. But if you start losing actual probes as well, that's so painful. Of course, he sees with the Overlord and the Lings, this uh, the Stargate on the way. There are several Lings coming up the map, and he does have Ling speed coming up as well as a Spire. So we might actually see an attempted bust here. That, that would be painful. Um, I wonder if this is actually Zergling tight right there. It doesn't look it to me, but sometimes these... Walls of eggs can be a little bit deceiving, or really any walls in StarCraft are, are quite deceiving. Okay, he gets the second zealot down anyways, so we don't really have to worry about that too much. Either way. 
And of course, with the uh, cannon there, you can't even try to attack the Zealots. Now, Citadel is coming up. That first cannon, or uh, that first Corsair, rather, going to be done here shortly. Look at this. These things are still alive, and they did end up getting a probe there. Plus all that lost mining time. So very, very annoying for movie, but not end of the world annoying. Back at the base of Hyuk, we have this macro hatch coming up. Oh, quick Templar archives for movie here. See if he's trying to rush out a Dark Templar pretty quickly. Maybe he feels like he can get a little bit of uh, harassment damage done. Corsair flying over towards his third base. And the Sp Spire's not done yet, so he can actually get this before Scourge are out. Yeah, four Scourge are being uh, created right now. Another macro hatch goes up as well as a second gas. Oh, the carapace upgrade. So it looks like Yuck wants to go for a heavy mutilisk play this game. Oh. He actually turned it around. Uh well, I mean he gets out well in front of the scourge, but it only was two more hits. I think that may have been just a mistake. Like he thought it was dead and pulled away. That happens occasionally if you're busy doing other things. Uh, either way, unfortunate for a movie that he does not end up getting that kill, but you know what? Saving the Corsair is number one priority. If you lose that, you can oftentimes lose the game. Now the Zealot's coming down. More links are being made. Almost a suspicious amount of links. If I was a movie, I think I'd be wondering if he is going to end up going mutas here. All right, these are going to get taken out so, so quickly. Plus one attack as well as legs. A little ways off for these Zealots still. Yeah, they really don't end up getting anything done, to be honest. Oh, the DT actually slips in and ends up getting three kills before going down. So not completely worth the cost of the DT, but a good try. Sometimes that's going to get you a lot more than that. Now, Mutas and Scourge coming out. Let's take a look at this Corsair count. We have four here, fifth one popping. Four gates on the way. We have no cannons in the main base, which scares me a little bit. No cannons here really either. Maybe the Mutas can fly up and catch him off guard. Like, there's literally only one Photon Cannon right now. Uh, sometimes, as well, against Mutas, what you do is you send out Zealots that the Lings can't really deal with because they have plus one and speed. Uh, and then you kind of have to send the Mutas after them as well, which will buy you time for your Cannons. Alright, looks like... Uh, just kind of sitting on the mutas right now. Is he going to make a lot more? We have the plus one going on the evolution chamber. So there is definitely a planned transition into Hydralis coming up. There's almost always that anyways. Uh, normally you only stay mutas if you're actually killing your opponent. Like if you are on the very edge of killing them. <laughs> or you do kill them, obviously. More mutas on the way. Okay, so it's a little bit of an ogre gamer move where you just make a, like a million mutas and scourge and then fly over all at once. Now, the mutas and scourge moving to the side. There is an archon in here that's going to make it really hard to engage. Here come the scourge and okay hits on the scourge. Look at this. Enough corsairs left over that those mutas have to turn around and flee. Meantime, these zealots killing off a lot of drones here. The archon as well. That, I mean, that's a lot of damage. Might that be it? There's just Lings and Mutas being made right now, and it does not feel very promising. Any sort of uh, defense he has planned here. The Hydralis Den going to be taken out, so that makes the movie's job very easy. He knows exactly what's going to be made defensively. I think those Zealots in the main base do get cleared up. The Protoss army continues to dominate down here. The Scourge continue to hit Corsairs. But does it even matter? Another Corsair flying down. At least keeping this busy. So many Zealots that... I mean, you can't even really deal with the Corsairs right now. You've got to kind of head over and take out these Zealots before they kill everything. The Lair and the Natural going to be going down. And, like, this... This feels to me like game. Another Archon joins in. Yeah, I mean, plus one Archon Zealot against a few Mutas. You've lost so many drones. You've lost your lair. You've lost your Hydralisk den. Does not feel like a doable situation. Trying to split the mutas here so the Archon Splash doesn't kill all of them. Still loses three or four. 
The spire goes down? Oh, I mean, everything is on fire at this point. You can only make zerglings and drones right now uh, as Hyuk. Hyuk is trying to stabilize, but there's like 54 probes over here. High Templar's coming out. Dragoon range on the way. Not really a recoverable situation, I think. Uh, I mean, maybe there's a possibility that he flies across the map, sees if there's anything to be done, and then GG's, but it really feels like any moment this could be called from uh, Hyuk. Movie with a really strong attack this game. You gotta give it to him. Yeah, the Zot's still running amok. The Muta's just on cleanup duty. Trying to get this sunken up. Oh, and actually does end up killing it when a sunken uh, uh, finishes morphing. It gets 100 hit points less. So if you get the morphing creep down to 100, you basically have it dead. It only requires one hit when it finishes. Okay, you got a GG here. Come on, everything hits air now. Everything is highly microphone. GG, movie wins game one.